What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix an issue that your Eurotruck Simulator 2 is crashing or freezing in some way. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial how to fix that. But before we start right into the video guys, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really mean the world to me and you're gonna support a little YouTuber like me on the, my journey here on YouTube. So subscribing is free for you guys and would be a massive support for me. So be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna thank you for that right now. And I would just say, uh, let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is opening up your task manager by right clicking your task bar and opening up your task manager. Once you're here, you're gonna close every single process, background process, application, whatever, just enter task. Why? Uh, there could be some um, applications or background processes which are currently running, which are third partying your game, which could, lo uh, could lead it to crash. So trust me guys, end every single task you don't really need or just really every single task without uh, ending Steam or um, Eurotruck Simulator. And same as for startups, you're gonna navigate to startup right here and disable every single program and application you don't really need to uh, at startup. So once you finish that, you can also close your task manager again. And the next step is gonna be to search an empty spot right onto your desktop and you're gonna right click it. And you're gonna go to your display settings. The first thing you're gonna stick to display and now I want you to identify which is your main monitor. Of course, this also just applies if you have more than one monitor. So um, you need to identify which is your main monitor. And once you did that, you're gonna scroll down and go to scale and layout. Once you're here, you're gonna uh, go to change the size of text apps and other items, you're gonna go to 100% as recommended. Uh, once you did that and you checked for 100%, you're gonna go down display resolution and here I want you to check if it is the same as in-game. So if you're using in-game something like 1720 by 1070, you're gonna also apply that for your display resolution. Once you did that, you can also close this one down again. And the next step is gonna be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings. Once you open up your settings, I want you to click on update and security right here. And here you need to check for your latest Windows update. If you don't have the latest Windows update, and I want you to download it just to provide the best possible performance for your PC. So it can come along with uh, upcoming updates in Eurotrack Simulator 2. So you won't have any issues uh, with that. Afterwards, you can also close this one down again. And I want you to do the same for your graphics cards. So if you have Nvidia or AMD, it doesn't really matter. You just need to download the latest version of your graphics card uh, via browser or uh, the application. That's it for the video, guys. I hope I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right into my channel. It would really mean the world to me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.